Well, welcome back DIY car guys and car girls. And today I'm gonna let you into a little secret that a lot of you guys probably don't know about. And that is adjusting your linkage for your secondaries. If you watch this right here, I'll look through it. See, this is your secondaries. Most of the time you drive around just like this. When you get on it, it cracks open and these guys open up right here. Did you know that you can adjust the timing when these two guys open? Now, most of you guys, it's probably not gonna help. But for me recently, on this guy back here, I was just had a really, really bad, like probably quarter throttle, like lean condition. Then until I gave it about half throttle, secondaries opened up, and then I would get good air fuel and all that stuff. But forever, I couldn't fix it. All right, before I get into the video too much, it's important to note, because I know someone's probably gonna drop comments. Uh, this lean condition that I'm talking about was just that cruise, and you can't, you can't sit your car there at idle and tune it. You have to drive it under all conditions to know how it acts at cruise, um, light throttle, and wide open throttle. This is a light throttle issue that I was able to fix with this mod. I adjusted air bleeds. I changed the power valves. I did everything I could possibly do. And the only way to fix that down low lean issue was to fatten it up, which it made it too rich. I was fouling out plugs. But today I'll show you exactly how I was able to fix that using adjustable linkage with this guy right here. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this. So really, installation for this is quite simple, but you are gonna to need to drill into your existing throttle linkage bracket right here. And the reason why is because I don't know why. I, I just wish um, they would just give you holes that are provided for this. Um, I do know that uh, this guy right here on this side, it uh, only has two holes and some of the newer carburetors will have three holes. And the very bottom one is set up for one-to-one. -one. Uh, in the instructions, it does say that this one for one-to-one, -one, but it's not. That's the one that I actually drilled out. So you have an older carburetor, this guy right here. This is the one that you're gonna use uh, to get your secondaries to come in a little bit sooner, but will not give you one-to-one -one linkage. It's this guy down here. Also, if you have a horribly tuned carburetor and you're thinking this might fix it, it probably isn't going to fix it. This is just one more tool that Holly has available and their huge line of parts for these 4150 carburetors to get you better drivability and more tunability to get your motor dialed in. So with that said, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is uh, remove this slip style linkage. Now, of course, um, these pins right here, this is not the same one that's on there, but for viewing purposes, I got this one on there. They're gonna come with these guys right here and they're probably gonna be bent in both sides. So removal's the same. You just gotta bend these guys straight and pull it straight on out. There is a, on this guy right here, there's going to be a washer on this side. I'm gonna pull that off. And this is your slip style linkage, which is gonna come stock with the carburetor, which is this guy. So once that's removed, the only thing you gotta do now is drill that hole out. And I'll show you guys on the one over here, this guy, but this one, with the throttle blades exposed and all that, it's really easy to show you how to adjust this. So now, when you get your linkage right here, you're gonna to wanna to install, we'll install this later on, but you're gonna have these washers that go right here and right here. But for adjustment purposes, don't use those at first. All right, so this is a better angle to show you guys what I'm talking about. Let me, um, let me first pull this guy off and put it down here for a second. Now, the reason why this has to be adjusted, and remember, I've already drilled this hole out to accept this guy right here. If not, it's too small, it won't go in. So, this is your primaries. You're just driving around your primaries. Now, the reason why you have to adjust this, because oh, watch your secondaries. They will actually open beyond that. I, I can't imagine a situation where they need to go beyond open Actually, they're actually closing at that point. So you need to adjust this so both of your blades are perfectly vertical, not past that. So that's why this guy right here, whoop, almost fell out, gives you adjustability. You can even like get down to like just the nitty gritty of half turns 
with this guy right here. It's pretty cool the way they do that. So before you put your pins in there, remember it goes into the bottom hole. Let's go ahead and back this out some. All right, well, this would be a good example of how not to uh, set it up. So as I'm driving around, see right now it's one to one. It actually is pulling that right away, but it's not quite one to one. You can see it was one to one, both of these guys be opening up at the exact same time. But if you're going around and if you don't have it set up right, you can see the back ones are open up more than, you know, straight up and down. You need these guys to be straight up and down. You don't want to block any airflow at, at wide open throttle. So all you do is when you just go right here and loosen it up some, put it back in, check it again. Nope, we're still going, you can see that? We're still going more than halfway there. So we're gonna just keep on adjusting it. I'm gonna go two turns this time. We're gonna keep on adjusting it until these guys open up. There we go. Let me see. Yeah. Now we got them completely vertical up and down. And that's where you want your adjustment to be for this guy. But if you notice, you still have progressive leakage. Even set this way. Whoops. Grab that. All right. So we still have progressive linkage. Watch. You're still driving around and you can still not open up. Your secondaries until right around there. See that? Right around there, see? And then we're pulling open the secondaries. So that just gives you the ability to adjust your timing on these guys. So now that we got this right here set up in the right spot, we need to install it on the carburetor. I better install it before I lose this guy. I'm just throwing it all over the place. All right, so on this carburetor, this is the one that has the three holes. This is how most of them are nowadays that I've seen. But of course, they won't go in to this guy right here, the middle one. This one's for one to one, but you can see this is adjusted like so that it goes into that one perfectly. But to go one to one, you have to go so far out in this thing that you barely have any threads. I mean, look at that. So we need to open this guy up right here. So this guy drilled out. There we go. Let me get some sandpaper and get the burrs off. Yeah, so all I'm gonna do is just Get that burr off. So that way this guy has a really nice clean spot to ride. go that's pretty good and probably uh, take some WD-40 and spray it in there and clean it all out let me do that too all right nice and clean and since I unadjusted this let me go ahead and readjust it again there we go now we're there All right, so the only thing to do now is to install our washers. There's a thicker one, put that one on the rear, right there, and the thin ones, put them right here. So the thicker washer goes on the secondaries, the thinner one goes on the primaries. That one there. And I'll tell you what, when this is on your vehicle, you're gonna drop some shit. Let me tell you what. 
I'm having a hard enough time just not trying to block for you guys. And you take the pins, I'll slide one in here. All right, just gonna slide that one there for right now. We'll bend it later on. And I got the one for the rear. Sorry, this would be the primaries actually. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Get in your home. There we go. All right, then once they're in there, you're just gonna bend it up. Bend one that way. And bend the other that way. All the way around. We're good. Well, all right, there we have it. Your almost a one-to-one -one linkage is all installed. Oh, damn. There's gas in here. My wife is gonna be pissed. When she smells it, that is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. And there's one thing you guys, uh, you probably notice if you do do this mod, or if you need to do it, you, it all depends, you know, how your motor acts. I wouldn't recommend this mod just to do it. But if you do do this mod, you'll see that your throttle response becomes like stupid snappy. And that's the only reason why it's because uh, you're more to, you're closer to a one to one ratio. So your secondaries are gonna open up even faster. So it's gonna be like, bah, bah. So we're gonna start it up and I'll show you just how snappy your throttle is once you do this mod. Pretty snappy. 